Hello, I'm Elizabeth and we're going to make a card. It's going to be my first video, so hopefully it's going to work all okay. So I've got uh, my mat that has been used, as you can see, and a green cardstock. Measurements would be four by five and, uh, five and three quarters. And this one is going to be a little bit shorter so that I can easily fit into my cardstock. And it's going to be a card using this pretty stamp set. I think I got it from one of the magazines for this some time ago. But I haven't been able to use it yet. So today I'm going to make my first card with it. And I'm going to start by blending some ink. Because I would like to make a card with this pretty. I've got my crushed olive from these dressings that I absolutely like. And we're going to blend in some green because I like the green. People have different techniques to do it, but I'm actually not fussed about it. Because once you put um, once you put your colors, once you put your stamps, nobody's going to see anything, actually. So that makes it much more easier. So nobody will see any of your mistakes. Nobody is going to see any of your mishaps. And you can just carry on. Now I'm going to change it for a little bit darker. And it's going to be peel paint. Yeah, I am using the same, the same one, but I don't really care because it's all going to blend in. And now to finish it off, I'm going to use the darkest one. Some people have different techniques. I just use that and I like it. Next in line is going to be my yellow mustard. I need to find my... And then, which is going to be the yellow. So we're going to change this one. I'm going to start fresh, brand new. And it's going to be yellow. Yes, of course. I need to tidy it in between. So I can, the ink is not going to transfer. Yeah. Well, what did Now this is going to be a little bit yellowish because I absolutely love it. I like having some yellow background. Yeah, it's all going to blend in. Once you put a little bit more, it's all going to blend in. I'm going to leave a little bit of light space. Next will be my orange wild honey. So I can have a little bit darker edges, just like at the bottom. All you gotta do is just keep filling in. Keep filling in, keep filling in, until you're satisfied with what you have. And if you want a little bit more yellow, then you just add a little bit more yellow to it, to blend in all of it. Now this is going to stay like that. Now I'm going to take my master tool. I absolutely love it. It's my favorite thing. We're going to take the stamp, the biggest of them all. I haven't used them, so they completely went new. I hope they're going to work. And we're going to only use 
part of it so i'm not going to stamp everything i'm just going to use a part of the stamp so we're going to secure it with those ones and take the stamp let's see how it goes now i'm using versafine i love this thing yeah it's a little bit broken i must admit Smudging. Now this stuff is brand new, so I can't use it easily. This is a little bit dirty, so we're going to wipe it off. And let's see. Let's see if it's going to work. If it doesn't work, we can always reapply it. Ooh haven't pressed it enough on that side but that's okay I can redo it again to have more vibrant colors it's not a problem I can redo it again clean this one and then I can press it again I like the stamping plate as you can easily stamp it twice Ooh. in the same spot yes now that's what I'm talking about that looks much better isn't it it's much better so I'm going to clean very quickly no it doesn't leave the stains Sometimes, if you don't clean it very quickly, you will leave the stains, but I'm trying to clean my stamps and clean my more equipment as quickly as possible. So when I put it away, it's all nice and clean. It's all nice and clean. So now we've got this much, and my sister has provided me with these pretty stamps, and I'm going to use Believe in Your Dreams. Yeah, it's a very, very tiny one, but I love it. And we're going to stamp it in the middle over here. With the same black ink. Is it going to work? I don't know, but I'm hoping for it. Ta-da! And we did it. And we did it. Now, this set comes with a couple of other bits and bobs that I would like to use. It's not just going to be this, but there's an owl I would like to put. And there's a tiny little owl that you can use. And I'd like to have it over here. Now there's a little tiny nest as far as I remember. Yep, there's a tiny nest which I would like to put somewhere in in the bushes as well. So I can have some. You can't see it too much, but I know it's there. And you know it's there. There's another little bread that we can use, which is this one. Mm. Oh, my one of my lid spots. Yeah, there's another little bird I would like to use. And it's this tiny little, tiny little creature that I can put over here. And just create the illusion that they are flying towards it. That looks very pretty, I think. Yeah. So now I'm going to clean this one. It's very quick to clean. And I believe this card is almost finished. So what I'm going to do now is just pop some 
so ein bisschen. Und to the cardstock. Check if it's the right. Check if it's the right way. Yep. And line it up and put it in my pretty green. Uh, put it in my pretty green card. What I like to do as well is to add some sparkle. I know we all love sparkles, so I'm going to add some sparkle to it because I love it. I love my sparkle. I love my. Uh, I think it's a nouveau clear crystal. I haven't used it for ages, so hopefully it's going to work. I'm going to put some drops here. Yeah, not my pretty. It has been used. You can see it has been used. Now it just needs to dry a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Not over here. And, and there you go. That's the end of the card, I believe. It's very, very pretty.